What's up guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This video is going to show you how to get WinRAR, uh, the full program, for free. Though it is an easy process, I do see why there is some confusion as uh, the process is kind of tricky, so I'm here to help. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, so for the first step, it's to create a new folder on your desktop. So to do this, just right click on your screen, click New, and then click Folder. You can name it anything you'd like. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to name it uh, WinR for the sake of the video. Okay, so after creating that folder on the desktop, the next step is to figure out what kind of operating system you have, whether it's a 64-bit or a 32-bit. If you already know what operating system you have, go ahead and skip this step. I'll go ahead and put the time on the screen right now so you can skip ahead to that time. If you're on Windows 10, just go ahead and click the magnifying glass on the bottom left, and then type in this PC. And then right-click on that, and then click Properties. And then that's where you'll find out if you're a 32-bit or a 64-bit. If you have Windows 8 or anything below that, all you have to do is click on the left side of your screen, click the Start button, and then where it says My Computer, right-click on that, and then click Properties. And the same menu should pop up. There is another way to figure out what kind of operating system that you have, other than the My PC or My Computer part. So all you have to do is open up Control Panel. Same thing to open this up, left click on the start button if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, click on control panel and it should be right there. If you don't have Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you have Windows 10, all you have to do is click on the magnifying glass, type in control panel, and then just click on it. Once you've opened this up, go ahead and click on the one that says system. Once you've clicked that, the same menu should pop up. And now that you know what operating system that you have, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. And now the next step is to actually download the program itself, WinRAR. And remember, like I said, you're going to need to know what operating system that you currently have, whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit, because there's two versions of it. So if you watch this tutorial from the start to now, you should know what operating system you have now. So go ahead and click on the operating system that you have and the language that you want. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the English version. So once you've clicked on that, uh, depending on your browser settings, this may pop out at you. If it does, go ahead and click Save File and save it in that folder we created in the beginning of the video. If you remember, I named it WinRAR. So go ahead and click Desktop and then go ahead and click on the folder that says WinRAR and save it inside. And now you're ready to move on to the next step. And so the next step after downloading the program itself is to download the license key that you need for it to make it the full program. So to do that, you go to this website, Mediafire. All the links are in the description below if I didn't already mention that. And all you have to do now is go ahead and click on the big green download button. And depending on your browser settings, this may pop out at you once again. Go ahead and click save file if it does and save it in that folder we created. So once again, scroll up, click desktop, click on the WinRAR folder that you created and save it in there. And that's it. We can move on to the next step. Perfect. So now that we've downloaded all the files necessary for this to work, go ahead and open up that folder that you created and your program should be inside. Go ahead and click on the WinRAR EXE to install the program itself, WinRAR. Once you click on that EXE, it may take a little bit for it to start up, but once it does, uh, the user account control may pop out at you as well, just asking for administrative rights to, down to install it. And just go ahead and click yes. 
And so once that happens, go ahead and just follow it through. Just do as it says. Just click install. And it's going to be pretty simple from here. For this portion of the installation menu, you don't actually have to do anything. You can just go ahead and click OK. But in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and check them all because I want them to be associated with those two files. So go ahead and click OK. And that's, that's it. <laughs> so now that you've installed it, you only actually have the trial version of WinR, which you can probably tell by now. So the next thing to do is get that license key that you downloaded, and we're going to put that into the system files. So to do this, we're going to have to open up our hard drive. So if you have Windows 10, go ahead and click on the one that says this PC. But if you don't have that icon, that's okay. Just go ahead and click on the magnifying glass on the bottom left, type in this PC, and then press enter. If you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, it's kind of the same thing. Just go ahead and click on the start button and click my computer. It's just called a little bit differently for you, but it's the same thing. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on your hard drive, which is the C drive. So go ahead and click on that. And then go ahead and click on the one that says program files. You may have to scroll down a little bit. And once you've done that, scroll down even more and click on the one that says WinRAR. And once you've done that, all you have to do is drag and drop the license key into this WinRAR folder. So go ahead and click on that and click and hold and then just drag and drop inside. I already have this license key inside of this folder so that's why it's telling me this. And for you, it just, it'll go through. For my case, I'm just going to go ahead and click skip this file. And once you've done that, that's pretty much it. Now you have the full program. And so to prove it, just go ahead and click on the magnifying glass or just start up WinR any other way you want to. If you created a desktop icon, there, just click on that. Uh, so there it is. You have WinR. And to prove it, go ahead and click Help and then About WinR. And it should tell you you have an unlimited co company license. And that's pretty much it. So there you go guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If this has helped you and it actually worked for you, please give it a thumbs up. It tells others that this process worked. But if you've encountered any issues, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I'll try to help you. Uh, and also the other viewers that have watched it this far, just go ahead and read the comment section see if you could help out someone. It's greatly appreciated. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya!